Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and I'm just chilling on this bench here in Genshin Impact, and I thought I'd try something different with this episode. It's going to be a side episode, not part of my main playthrough of the game. What I thought I would do is try to catch myself and anyone who's interested up on all the lore in the game. So, I noticed before that when I went into the library and took what seemed to be dozens of books, um, that they were filled with pages and pages of information. And I didn't have time to sit and read them all, but I want to make time and see what all of the story and the context that they provide is all about. So this video is going to be me simply reading these books out loud. And if you're interested um, to check some of them out, I hope you enjoy it. I had some people on stream say that they might like to see this, so I'm just going to give it a shot and see if anyone out there in the world finds this kind of uh, video interesting. So here we go. This is called Vera's Melancholy, Book One. I don't ever think the world is monotonous. It's just that interesting things happen in faraway galaxies. The Great Adventure of Vera, an ordinary girl always fascinated by distant lands, secretly begins. Hmm. All right. So, Vera's Melancholy 1. Endless days in infinite worlds. There are times when I think to myself, there's nothing to do in this tiny village. What a dull place to live. This wasn't the first time that Vera had complained about her hometown, the small country village of Delphi. Her frown eased slightly as she lay on the hillside near the village, eyes closed, feeling the breeze of the early summer. Then, where in the, this world would you not consider dull? Her buddy Sachi asked curiously. Vera sat up and leaned forward. I believe on the other side of the starry sea is a planet inhabited by gods who can answer all prayers and wishes, and everybody bearing a wish is on a journey to get there. I believe in our universe there is a world currently in a war against Doomsday where the noble and elegant souls of fourteen Valkyries burn bright, if only for a brief but magnificent moment. You've been reading too many of those weird fantasy novels. But this village really is dull. When was the last time anything fun happened here? Funny you should say that. A new family did move into our village recently. Novelty and fun aren't the same thing. Despite what she had said, Vera decided to pay a visit to the newcomers. Sachi, however, remembered his family's rules and walked back home for dinner. Ellipse. Vera gave the door to the newcomer's abode a gentle push. Much to her surprise, it wasn't locked. Anybody home? No sooner had the words left her mouth than the living room cupboard doors flew open and out jumped a black-haired boy wearing glasses. He was followed by a tentacled blue slime. Make way! Tal! Why did you let a stranger in? The black-haired boy gently pushed Vera out of his way and picked up an axe by the door. You leave me with no choice. Since you have seen everything, there's only one thing for it. Thus began the biggest crisis of Vera's life. Oh my goodness. Is this Tal going to chop Vera up with his axe because he's seen the slime? That can't be the way of it. So... I'm intrigued. This is a page turner. We learned about Delphi, the Starry Sea, Vera, Sachi, and Tal. 
and I don't know if I've met any of these characters yet. I don't know if the purpose of these books is to provide backstory and connection for all of the characters that you can unlock, but I'm curious to see what develops as I get into more. All right, so that was Vera's Melancholy 1, um, and it was a four-star purple book. I don't know what the rarity of the books means, but let's go ahead and move over to Vera's Melancholy 2. Everything's just boring. Everything, all the time. It's not depression. It's just reaching the age of 14. So begins Vera's adventure. Boy, she's already worn out with life and bored by 14? Yikes. Um, I'll tell you what, though. It's interesting juxtaposition between one and two I don't think anything's boring if some newcomer is setting upon you with an axe but let's find out Vera's melancholy part two my backyard is slightly bigger than the entire universe that's profound all I can do now is ask you to help me the black-haired boy who called himself Ike handed Vera a kitchen knife. Oh, I thought I heard the name Tal previously. He walked back to the cupboard and began slashing at the tentacles frantically. Come and help me close this door. If a tentacle starts attacking you, use this kitchen knife to defend yourself. Ike's glasses were now covered in blue slime. Hurry, we can't let this evil demon cross into Delphi. Upon hearing his words, Vera helped Ike close the door. While they were pushing back the tentacles, Vera accidentally stabbed Ike twice in the back. What? Thankfully, Ike's healing spells were quite potent. I shall explain everything to you. I am, in fact, over a thousand years old, and this door is a gateway to anywhere in the universe. That tentacled monster is an old one from the large Magellanic Cloud, or Magellanic, not sure how to pronounce that. I went there to get something. Ike was covered in slime from head to foot by this point. He wiped his glasses with Vera's dress as he spoke. Um, is there anything else you'd like to know? Who's Tal? Vera didn't seem to mind. Ah, okay. So she's not the only one who wonders about Tal, an evil spirit that resided in the man-devouring castle. It has served me as a butler since I subdued it. Strangely, it behaved quite friendly toward you. All right. So I'm just interjecting. It seems to be very much an HP Lovecraft mixes with Howl's Moving Castle? I, anyway, let's see what's going on. Vera's parents always reminded her that people are destined to build families and that it was futile to entertain dreams of anything beyond the homestead. Her buddy Sachi once told her that if a lively girl like her was to marry someone from a faraway land, the whole village would become unbearably lonely. The real reason Sachi said this was uh, that he was something of a weakling and was sure to be ferociously bullied if he ended up having to play with the boys. The human spirit is still too immature. I need to guide you both through the wonders of your childhood. Ike extended his inviting arms to Vera. You will sing every step of the way on your long journey to youth. Boy, this is getting out there. From the Orion arm to the eternal Jehannam, from the torrents of time to the depths of the starry sea. How far is beyond? Any place in this universe is just as boring as my backyard, he said. The scale of everything beyond follows the heart, Ike replied. Thus, my heart is slightly bigger than the entire universe. Wow. All right. Okay. And let's then move on to the final book in the series, or at least the final one that I have. Vera's Melancholy Part 3 The Andromeda Empire stretches across half the galaxy group. Every planet within the Empire has its own demons and deities, 
dragons and monsters. I've come up with a story for every star from your home. That's not possible. Looking from here, the Andromeda galaxy is only one-fifth the size of your moon. So continues Vera's adventure. Vera's Melancholy Part 3 The Man Who Stole the Lone Star I am the second rightful heir to the Andromeda Empire, and I have more than 200 titles to my name. You shall call me the Princess Andro Basilisks. The charming girl then crossed her arms, savoring the moment of her entrance in her mind and giggling to herself in amusement. Her sole reason for gracing Delphi with her presence was to marry Ike. If you, he who conquered a quarter of the universe, marry me, my safety shall be guaranteed after my elder sister takes the throne. If I may ask, how big is the Andromeda Empire? Vera asked. I reckon there are more than 9,000 inhabitable planets. With so many stars in your possession, why come to steal my brilliance? So you aren't here to harm Vera? Sachi uh, cautiously asked Ike, who was carrying the scrolls and globes of other planets. Of course not. I think she would make a great assistant. After putting everything down, he clapped his hands. You like her? Me? No, not at all. I don't like her at all. Sachi looked away, worried that the old sage might discern his true feelings. He reached for a box full of photo frames. He grabbed a few at random, each picture depicting a different beauty. Look at them. They all said that they gave me their one and only true love. But did they? In reality, I was just one of their many lovers. Sachi did not know when or where he had heard the saying, but it blurted out from his mouth in this moment excuse me, in his moment of annoyance. With so many stars in your possession, why come to steal my brilliance? Huh. Wow. There's everything in that. Romance, intrigue, mystery, other dimensions, demons. I mean, there's a lot jammed into this. Vera's melancholy, and I wonder if there's more books in the series. I'd like to kind of put a bow on it, but this is all I've collected so far in the game. It looks like I've got way more of this Fox in the Dandelion Sea, although I appear to be missing book four, which is problematic. Um, so maybe I need to go into the library and see if I missed some books. All right, everybody, I think I will stop this first episode here and simply call it reading the trilogy of Vera's Melancholy, I want to simply see what people think of a video like this for this game, if anyone's interested in absorbing content of this kind, hearing the stories read aloud. If you know if there's more books in Vera's Melancholy, um, I'm curious to have that answer. Please, in the comments below, tell me what you think about this. Is this something you want to see more of, or was this your worst nightmare? I am curious. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. And I will check you in the next episode of either my Let's Play of Genshin Impact, which is just playing the game, having fun, or in a lore episode like this where I pick up and read some more books. Take care.